Hey y'all, so I just finished filming my single eyeshadow declutter and these are the eyeshadows that I decided to declutter and these, in addition to all of the square adept shadows that are in this palette, are all of the ones that I'm keeping. So now I need to do the next phase. I need to kind of reorganize these and I need to put these in a palette to give them away. And I also think I, I feel like playing with my singles and building myself a, a little custom palette. And since my collection of single shadows, which I love so much and use more than any of my eyeshadows, is shrinking, I think it's actually time to declutter my empty magnetic palettes as well. So I'm gonna do that in this video. And there's going to be a good bit of cleaning of stuff too, because my magnetic palettes are all a, a little bit grimy. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, reorganizing, cleaning, some quiet talking, but a lot of visual interest, then you will enjoy this video. If this happens to be your first time to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Hannah and I love beautiful things. So I have a beauty channel, but I try to keep an edited collection. So I often do this kind of thing, going through and giving reviews and talking about what I'm deciding to keep and what I don't really need to keep, making sure that I only keep what I really love and keep what I'm going to use. I hope you'll subscribe if that sounds good to you. Now let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. The first thing that I'm going to do before I put any of these declutter shadows in a palette to declutter is to deal with my square shadows from Adept. So these are all the same brand and they fit beautifully in this little palette. They like all fit in like a tiled floor. And I wonder if I should maybe move my Adept shadows to a bigger palette so that I can include these other ones that I decided to keep, the ones that are mixed in here and they can all be together in the same palette. And I think that depending on how they fit into another palette, I might actually decide to keep some of the Adept ones from here to get a solid tiled floor, like to fill in the gaps, or I might decide not to keep some of the ones that I decided to keep. So I feel like I need to do that before I do anything else. So I'm gonna make myself a little bit of space and then see if any of my other magnetic palettes will be a better fit for the slightly expanded collection of these shadows. I think I have any palettes that would fit a seven by seven square of these shadows. So I don't think it's just gonna be a matter of getting three more to go in, like pulling three more to go in those three spots. I think I might be putting them in, in a different shape. Let me see what I have. Hmm, okay, so this palette fits seven this way, but it's definitely more than seven that way. However, I think that this is probably the best palette for these shadows. And ah, I don't know, I don't think I wanna pull. Let's see, how many would I need to pull? Yeah, if I put all of the shadows that I'm keeping, all of the adept shadows into this palette, then there would be room for 14 more shadows on the other side. And I, I don't wanna keep 14 of the adept shadows that I tried to declutter because that would be like half of them, right? I, I don't think that I wanna like pull those back in after deciding to let them go. But I don't think that I have any square palettes that are between this size and this size. So I think that maybe for the time being, I will move all of them over into this palette and just see how I feel about that. I do really like having them like just flush in this little palette. I just love this little thing. And so if I can't stand it, then I'll, I'll move them back and I'll just keep a, a selection somewhere else. But maybe what I could do is I could like put them in here with my Cleona shadows, which are also square. And maybe I'll like how that looks. Let's play.
I do think this is gonna be okay, but I do wanna bring three over. I want it to be complete. I want it to be a complete square. So these are the candidates, and some of them are repeats. I don't wanna repeat any shades, so I'm not gonna bring any that are like in a different formula but the same color. I'm not gonna bring any over. Um, but this is one that I know is uh, not a color that I have, right? Like it's different from everything and I, I feel like it does kind of flesh out the situation. This is also one that is like a different shade of green than any of the greens that were here. So that's a candidate. Mm, and then I remember that this pale champagne right here wasn't one that I already had the color of. So I'm gonna keep those two. Okay, there we go. Okay, I like it. I can live with this for the time being. I did like it better when they were all just like flush with the edges of that other palette, but um, I want them to be all together and I like that they're all a big square. Let's put the Cleona shadows in and see how we feel. I'm not totally mad at that. I'm wondering if there's a way to fit all these in and have room for the ColourPop glitters because I kind of like having the ColourPop glitters and the Cleona shades together. Mm, no, I don't think there's room. Yeah, there's not room for them. I guess I could put these other two square shades that I have here. They're from Natasha Denona. Yeah, just that's okay for now. I mean, it's silly to be angsty about it because I don't care that much about everything being symmetrical. And also I know that I'm just gonna be like pulling shades from here. I tend to focus on, I tend to keep palettes like this as just storage for my singles and then the palettes that I use are the little ones that I build from these. So it's not like I'm gonna be pulling this out over and over again and using it to build looks. Um, I just, you know, I get a lot of satisfaction out of this kind of like completely seamless tiled floor of eyeshadow. So I'm gonna store these guys here for the time being. Okay, now, I'm ready to put all of these eyeshadows into palettes or into a palette to give away. So I need to decide if I have any magnetic palettes that I'm not keeping. I might actually have a magnetic palette in my giveaway box that I haven't managed to give away yet. Let me go see if I can find one. Yeah, I found this little palette, this little magnetic palette in my giveaway box with these two shadows in it that I'm planning to give away. I'm gonna clean this up though. Um, and then I don't know if this will be the one that I actually put the palette, the shadows in to give away. They definitely won't all fit. And they definitely won't all fit in any of my other little ones. The only ones that they would possibly all fit in would be this one with the two sides, which is like a beautiful palette or this one. And I don't know if I want to give this one away because I really liked the way all of those little adept shadows looked in it and I'm not 100% sure yet that I'm ready to like forfeit that possibility by giving this one away.
Okay, while I was cleaning that little palette, I was thinking, and here's what I decided. I'm gonna give this away, this big one, even though it's so beautiful. I mean, I love this white marble. I haven't been using it. I've, I've cleaned it up the last time I did one of these videos and I put it away in my drawer because I was gonna use it to like build things in and move things around. And I just, I have too many. I have too many magnetic palettes. I haven't been needing it. I tend to use smaller palettes when I build my own palette. And I also tend to use ones that are single fold, like rather than double. Uh, so I just, I feel like this is so beautiful and someone's gonna really, really love it. And it's in beautiful condition. And I just think it's the one that I can give away. And it's the one that all of these will fit in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put all of them in here and then I'll send it to a fellow makeup lover, someone who wants some more single shadows. Oh my gosh, they might not all fit. Ah, so here's the other thing I was thinking about when I was um, cleaning that other little palette. I only wanna give away the shadows that I decluttered because they don't suit me or because I have too much. I don't wanna give away things that I'm decluttering because they're not performing well anymore. And that's these three. So these have gotten you know, pretty lackluster in their old age, started to dry out, don't perform really well anymore. But even without including these, I don't think that I can get them all to fit in this one little palette. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to curate a little giveaway palette into this one and then there will be enough space in this one and so um, I'm going to move over some of the ones that are kind of redundant here Okay, there we go. Now I feel like I can give this palette away kind of like as, you know, a motley collection of single shadows and a really nice palette. And I feel like I can give this away as, uh, you know, just like an, another little edited collection of single shadows. All right, y'all, this is what's left. And the next door neighbors have just started playing Christmas carols at top volume, which is 100% not okay with me right now. It is Christmas day as I'm filming this, um, but I'm really hoping that that's not registering. But this is so crazy. It's like wild. I mean, this is the palette of, you know, the Adept palette, right? So it's clearly, you know, half or at least of what I have in terms of singles is now in this format and is in this palette. But um, this isn't even the big palette that I bought myself at the beginning of my first year of budgeting. That's this one. This is like my, my big palette that I keep my shadows in when I'm not using them in small palettes. And uh, I think that I wanna keep doing that. I think that I want to keep this as like the storage 
the, uh, you know, like the, the storage bay for my single shadows. And now I have this other one, which is also from Adept. It's like the matching slightly sl smaller one, which will be the storage bay for square shadows. So I'm gonna have like the storage bay for square shadows here and the storage bay for round shadows in the form of this bigger one. And then that'll be entirely it for storing my single shadows. And then I can just work from there and work for my Natasha Denona palettes to build palettes, other palettes of singles. And I think that that'll be great for me. It'll be easier to kind of like keep in my mind palace than having like a little square one with all my glitters and like the Cleona ones and their own one and like all of this and having them all scattered around and a bunch of these little palettes always like, you know, in my palette storage along with my other palettes, they take up space. Whereas just these two will take up a lot less space and I can keep, you know, a few of these for building smaller custom palettes from time to time. But I think I will be able to let go of some of them today as well. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm like getting ahead of myself because I'm really excited. I feel like this amount and these ones, what I have, feels very right to me. Like it really feels appropriate. It's what I want. But before I get excited and start, you know, wheezing, whizzing, wheezing, before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm gonna clean this one up a little bit and put these back in it. Okay, I'm gonna just stick with this for now. I think this looks great. And just PSA, if you're playing your music really loud, your neighbor might be a YouTuber and she might be trying to film a video. Um, I know that this drives some people crazy because you like to have it all in rows, but I actually, it drives me crazy that um, when you try to put something in rows and like it doesn't actually line up. Like I don't like it when there's like all, a line of shadows that are all the right, the same size, and then there's a line that are a different size and there's like obviously empty spaces. I feel like I want it to either all be fitting perfectly and exactly symmetrical, or I want it to be like an intentional amoeba, intentional mild chaos or controlled chaos. So I really like this. And I actually find this very approachable. This is like my approachable amoeba of eyeshadows. I really like to store my round single shadows like this. So. Here's what we're looking at. This is my newly edited collection of single eyeshadows. And I was planning to proceed to build a little, a little eyeshadow palette like to work from, but I don't feel like disturbing any of this right now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next phase, which is to clean and declutter my magnetic palettes. And I think that once I've done that, I'll be inspired because there will be one that I want to fill with eyeshadow. Ah, my depotting tool. I looked and looked for it earlier and I couldn't find it. And um, I just found it.
Okay, here's the first palette. It's as clean as I could get it. My old busted tart palette. And I love this palette so much because of its beefy square shape. This is kind of developing to be a theme of this declutter and the single shadow declutter, but um, when you get stuff in PR, it's tempting to constantly replace old stuff with new stuff. And um, I have gotten some really beautiful magnetic palettes from Adept in PR over the last couple of years. So like I have two that are this shape that are, you know, in beautiful shape, brand new. And, you know, I have this one and then the other one that I decided to give away, the, the double fold marbled one. And you would think that since I have the opportunity to replace this one with like the broken mirror and the duct tape with those new ones, I would, but I don't want to replace this one. And the same thing happened with some of those adept eyeshadows. I received the new ones in PR and I decided to keep most of the old ones instead because they're mine. They're, they have been mine and I want to keep my stuff, my old stuff in many cases and just like keep using it, use it up, wear it out instead of trading it out and passing along broken stuff and keeping brand new stuff. So I'm gonna keep this one, it's one of my favorites. And I think that that means that I can definitely give away one of these two white, if not both of them. Mm, but let's not jump the gun because I think that this one, I can definitely give away this little makeup geek palette. I don't like the way that um, the, the square the squareness of the palette is disturbed by the fact that the clasp like comes up into it. And you know, this pla this like it's all plastic and it just doesn't feel as good to me as my other, the ones that are like cardboard. Um, so yeah, this is like my least favorite of my little palettes. So I'm gonna clean this one up, but I'm not gonna keep it. Okay, this little palette. I find the size of this little thing very convenient. So I'm gonna hang on to this one. I do really like these palettes from Adept. They are very sturdy. I love the magnetic, I love the like quality of the magnetic tray. And I love that they're like white alligator on the outside and then like black on the inside, but I don't need both of them. And it's actually kind of confusing having both of them because they look exactly the same from the outside. So sometimes I'll like, put stuff in one of them and then I'll go to reach for that stuff and it'll be in the other one. And so um, I'm just gonna keep one and I'm gonna give one away. This is one that I really love. I bought this myself a while back and I just, I really like how thin it is. I like the slenderness of this and obviously it's, you know, really fun. So I'm gonna keep this one. It doesn't have a mirror, so um, it's not as convenient for traveling, but I often tend to use this one to build palettes that I'm making like custom palettes as well. There's something about the size and the lightweight and slender aspect of it that really attracts me. Okay, this one I still need to decide about. And here's the thing, here's the thing. All of my eyeshadows are in these two palettes, right? Um, so, you know, this one isn't even full, like there's still room for some more around the edges. And this one is pretty much full. 
Um, so, you know, store that's storage, but I don't anticipate acquiring a bunch new, of new single shadows anytime soon. It's not like I've been considering buying any and I, I don't anticipate this kind of thing coming in PR a bunch. So this is like my collection for now, right? And then to build custom palettes, I have this one, which is almost always the one that I use, love it. This one, which is the one that I use when I'm trying to do something smaller. This one, which is the one that I use when I'm doing something teeny tiny. And then this one, which is like extra to all of them and is just, you know, a convenient one to have around. And all of these are empty. So in theory, if I suddenly needed more storage for single shadows, I could depend on these. But again, I don't think that I'm gonna need that. So. I don't think I need to keep this one. Even though I loved that tiled floor that filled it, I, I want to simplify. And um, this is, you know, it's such a beautiful palette and it's in beautiful condition. And, you know, if I give it away and then I find that I miss it, I needed it, um, I will gladly support Adept and buy one. Like this was sent to me in PR. So, you know, I'm again, like glad to pass it along to someone who will be able to get good use out of it. And then again, if I need one, I can buy one. But for now, I don't think that I need it. And this is the kind of thing that does kind of like take up space and, and fill my, my space, my vanity and the place where I keep eyeshadows. So I think I'll enjoy having the space if I give this one away. Woohoo, I really love that. So I'm giving away these three empty palettes and I'm giving away these two palettes, which are both full of decluttered singles. And then this is what I'm keeping. Okay, now I am kind of excited about doing some, some play, like building, building myself a little palette. But you know what I wanna do? I just wanna do a little one. I just wanna use this little guy and build something, build a, a little palette, like a daily um, eyeshadow palette. So in the process of doing this declutter and organizing everything, there are a number of shadows that I realize that I haven't been using as much as I want to be. And I wanna build this little palette kind of around them, like with that principle. And um, one category of those shadows is the ColourPop glitters. I really love these pressed glitters and I've been enjoying glitter lately and I just haven't been reaching for these ones. I've been using glitter in other forms like liquids and um, you know, the Natasha Denona shades that have like the finer glitter. And recently I looked at these and I was just like, oh my gosh, I love those so much. Like, why am I not using them more? So I'm going to maybe even put two of them in. I feel like this one has really been alluring me. This one is called Get Lost. It's got those big chunks, different sizes of, you know, like kind of ivory, iridescent ivory glitters. And then this more rose gold one, Indio, is also kind of calling my name. It's got some, I think it might even have a little bit of holographic glitter in this, but it's, you know, it's like kind of a grungy rose gold. So we need something to ground the looks that I'll be using these glitters to finish. And I don't know, I've been really feeling like the, the mustards, like I, I've been kind of thinking more about this deep, uh, it's not even a mustard. It really swatches like something kind of deeper and and um, more brown even than I would think of as butterscotch, or maybe like a Dijon mustard. And then I've been getting requests again to do more looks with Urban Decay Lounge. So I'm gonna pull that one so I don't forget it. Butterscotch is a luxe shadow. And again, Lounge is from Urban Decay. I think I wanna include this Natasha Denona single, which I think is called Sienna. It is, it's like a, it's a multi-chrome, but it's kind of a grubby multi-chrome. Sorry, not multi-chrome, it's a duo-chrome, but it's, and it's sort of like a, a ruddy to gold, maybe like a, a brownish green, you know, it's got, I'll swatch it in a second, but it's a toned down enough version of that kind of thing that I feel like it can actually help ground a look that has flares of glitter and, you know, other more intense duo-chromes. So butterscotch, which is this one on the right, isn't actually that yellow. I kind of like the yellow presence in here when you look at the pans, but I don't think you could get a look that has that yellow presence in it just with these shadows. I think I need to add a yellow. And I do want to play more with these new formula mattes from Adept. So I'm going to use this one, which is a CM10. 
I could see this working to sort of make the look more yellow around the edges, uh, you know, even as like a crease shade or for buffing out towards the brows. Okay, that's it. That's the little palette. I'm gonna swatch it out. So that's the palette. I can't wait to start working with this. I feel like I'll be able to build some really amazing looks with this. I love it. I find it so much easier to work from little palettes like this, like to curate from the big collections into little palettes and then to work from little palettes onto my eyes. I find it way less overwhelming than dipping into the whole entire giant, huge collection in a big palette all at once. And also it's fun. The process of sitting down, opening the, these big palettes and like looking at everything I have, thinking about the color stories that have been alluring me and inspiring me lately, and then building a little thing like this. The process of doing that is way more fun than shopping. <laughs> and it's way less expensive than shopping, and it's a way of using what I have instead of acquiring stuff that's new. And so I like having the, these sort of like places where I keep my shadows and then places where I build my inspiration palettes and then I like use them from that place. I like moving things around because it's a way of getting my hands into what I love and uh, reveling in the love of color and texture that's non-acquisitive and that doesn't cost me any money and doesn't end me up with more stuff on top of the stuff that I already have. Okay, and that, that is it. That was so fun. Both of these videos were super fun. I didn't say this at the beginning of the video, but I'll obviously link the first one, the, the actual eyeshadow declutter down below so that you can click through and watch it if you haven't. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this one and the first one both, if you've been here for both of them. And if you have, I really appreciate you. I appreciate you for being here, for watching. And I really hope that you're remembering to take extra good care of yourself so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world. Thank you.